What's up everyone? It's Fistful of Energon. And this is the classic attic fix. Today we're doing someone which no line would be complete without. Optimus Prime. Welcome to the Classic Attic Fix. What is the Classic Attic Fix? The Attic Fix is going to be me running down on some of the best characters from the Classics line. By far, in my opinion, one of the better lines that the Transformers have seen in many, many years. Now, the next release, 3.0, whatever you want to call it, is slated for release in 2011. Now, that's quite some time to be waiting for some great figures. So, I'm going to go through some of my favorite figures, just the fill the void until then. So, today we start with Optimus Prime. Now, Optimus Prime came out sometime in 2006. And he was involved with the first wave of the line. Of course, you have to have an Optimus Prime. In my opinion, he's one of the better Primes that they've released in many years. Now, he does have some flaws, but some of those are very forgivable. I like to start off with saying that I love the plastic they use for this character. It's very solid. It's not soft. There's hardly any flaws with it that I can tell. Now, I obviously have the U.S. release. I don't have the Henkai. I would love to own the Henkai, but I don't. So, let's start off with this guy. Now, obviously, he comes with two guns. And what I liked about the Classics line is... They utilized a lot of the weapons into the bot modes, which is pretty cool. Obviously, this becomes his smokestacks, and his weaker of the two guns becomes an ion blaster. Now, whatever. I don't care. I don't usually typically pose him with this as his gun. Usually, I just mount it on the back here. And there's a couple ways you can do it. You can do it like that, or you can do it like that. I typically like that. It's a bit more streamlined. He does have some alternate uh, functions with that. You can actually uh, put his guns on there somehow. It's been a while. <laughs> I'll get it. Just give me a second. Alright, there you go. And, voila. Shoulder mounted cannons. Yeah, it's kind of stupid. When has Prime ever had that? But, I don't care. I think it's awesome. But, typically, I, do, I just pose him with just his gun. Now, um... Onto the aesthetics of the toy. One of the biggest eyesores and pretty much one of my only complaints with the figure are these door wings. Yes, they probably could have picked a better place to put these, somehow involve them better into the transformation, but it's forgivable. And in a way, it's pretty much just been accepted. By me, at least. Another thing is, uh, I don't even know the word to describe it. I read something on a board one day, and I think this may be it, correct me if I'm wrong, it's called anti-kibble. In this case, it's referencing this part right here. Now, anti-kibble, from my understanding, is when a part of the toy um, gets switched around in transformation and uh, doesn't end up actually being part of the bot mode, and instead they use some other kind of a molding to make it look like it is the original part of the alt mode, if that makes any sense. Basically what I'm saying here is that's the grill for the truck, but this is supposed to be the grill for the truck. It's okay, it's forgivable, I don't care. It looks awesome like this. I'm not gonna complain too much. Another somewhat bad point is this backpack. It is somewhat hideous. This little contraption deal here 
these wheels fold up. He's got wheels on his ass. That's fine. Again, not a big gripe. Now, with the bad parts out of the way, I'm going to go on to the best parts. First is the head mold. I think this is one of the best Optimus Prime head molds I've seen in a long time. I love the chunky look to it. The little face plate, because in my world, Optimus Prime does not have a mouth. <laughs> Alright, uh, on a transformation. This guy is one of the one of the few toys I actually thoroughly love to transform. Now I like transforming all of them, but this guy, there's just something about right. truck mode. Now what would Optimus Prime be if not a truck? And this is an awesome looking truck. I know it's not the typical flat nose that we all know and love from G1, but he's an updated version, much like a lot of the classics line is. I really like the streamlined look. A lot of it has to do with this uh, wind vane that obviously turns into the ion blaster, but whatever. Um, I kind of wish I had the Henkai version. Uh, one of the main reasons is because uh, I love the chrome that they added there, but I'm sure with some silver paint apps I could put them and make it look okay, but I typically just pose them in bot mode, so it doesn't really matter to me much because this becomes his ass. Um, it's pretty sad it didn't come with a trailer, you know, even one that could be, you know, cut out of the box or something, but... The fans project did an awesome uh, deal with their G3 trailer. Um, I probably won't be getting it. It's more of a novelty to me rather than a necessity. But regardless, I would still love to have it. <clears throat> um, not really much else to say about this mode except for it's really awesome. I really love how it's just a solid ass truck. Um, one of the points I like with the transformation is uh, how the part of the leg flap goes in there to cover up the rest of the legs. I know it's minute, but to me, it's pretty cool. So, yep. Uh, Classics Optimus Prime. Uh, that's it for this figure. Uh, stay tuned for some upcoming figures. Um, a little preview of uh, who's going to be next. Skywarp. And, uh, thank you for watching.